Hi Bobcats, it's Miss Lee, and today's lesson is on triangle angle sum. Okay, this is a property that states that the sum of the measures of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. If you add up all three angles in a triangle, the total will always equal 180 degrees. Why? How does this work? If you were to tear off all three angles, and you were to put them together to make one big angle. Let me turn this one around. You can see that together the three angles make a straight line. And we've learned that a straight line measures 180 degrees. So you can find missing angle measures by using this property. Here's an example. We know that two of the angles, one is 49 degrees and one is 47. We're missing the measure for angle A, so we can find it. Add the two angles that you know, 49 plus 47, 1696. And then subtract it from the 180 to find the missing angle. So we have to borrow 10 minus 6 is 4, 17 minus 9 is 8. So the missing angle measures 84 degrees. Now you can't just write 84 because that's a number, that's not degrees. You have to remember to put the little degree symbol. Let's try some more. Let's try number one. Again, we know two of the angle measures, 37 and 84. So I'm going to add them up. and I get 121. Now I'm going to subtract that from 180. And let me borrow. And we get 59. So the measure of angle X is 59 degrees. Look at example two. We're only given one angle measure. We need to find X, but do we know what this angle measures right here? Yes, we do. Remember, whenever you have that little box symbol in an angle, that means it's a right angle. And right angles always measure what? Exactly 90 degrees. So even though it didn't tell us 90 degrees, it had a symbol that meant that it was 90 degrees. So we actually know two of the angles. So let's add them up. We get 112. Let's subtract that from 180. Borrow. And we get 68 degrees. So angle X measures 68 degrees. If you go back, add all three angles together, you would get 180. So I want you to go ahead and do number three on your own. Pause the video. Once you have your answer, come back and check. Okay, did you get 115 degrees? If you did, great job. If not, let's check your work to see where you had your mistake. First thing you need to do is add the two angles that you are given. 40 plus 25 is 65. Subtract that from 180 and you get the 115. Hopefully you remembered to add and then subtract from 180 and maybe it was just a math mistake and you can be careful in the future. Okay, these are a little bit different. Okay, if you look at these angles, there are two that are missing and there's no little symbol that means a right angle. But there is another symbol. On each side, these two sides, they each have one little tick mark or hash mark. That's because these are congruent. We talked about this. As long as they have the same number of little tick marks, that means that they are congruent. So if these two sides are congruent or they're equal, that means their two angles are also equal. So this one is 65, that means that C is also 65 degrees. So we actually do know two angles, don't we? So let's add them up. 65 plus 65 is 130. Subtract that from 180. And our missing angle A is 50 degrees. Now if you look at our next example, you'll see that there's a tick mark on all three sides. That means that it is an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal. And if all of their sides are equal, that means all of their angles are equal. So if angle Z measures 60 degrees, that means Y is also 60 degrees and X is 60 degrees. 
you could actually go back, multiply 60 times 3, and it shows that it does add up to 180 degrees. So you, there are ways, sometimes you'll be missing more than one angle, and you have to look for those clues that will help you find one of the missing angles. Like here, we needed to know the fact that two of the sides were congruent, so the two angles were congruent. Here, it was an equilateral triangle, all sides are equal, which means all angles are equal.